And now let's talk about INAV 6. Usually INAV uh, major version is released every six months. And uh, according to the schedule, the next uh, INAV, in this case INAV 6, should be released somewhere in the November, December. However, I think that this time it will take slightly, slightly longer. And there are a couple, couple of reasons for that. The reason number one is that we've been releasing two major versions of INAV per year since like three three years now and this is exhausting to be honest next reason is that uh, quite a lot of pilots were complaining that we are just releasing too often this is not something that i completely agree uh, in terms of the need to update because i'm updating INAF all the time but uh, i understand that for in some cases the constant updates might not be actually a desired thing the reason number three is that if everything goes well then inf6 will be really a huge release with a lot of changes and even only testing of that will take quite a lot of time inf6 will hit public in q1 2023 i would personally say that most probably around march maybe slightly earlier maybe slightly later we will see but i don't think that we're gonna have it in uh, december that's of course my personal opinion at this moment but let's say that my opinion is actually quite an important opinion on the INAF. so we might even say that this is almost <laughs> almost the fact INAF 6 will actually bring to the table something that's pretty much huge and if i say huge that this is really huge if you ask the community what's the biggest problem of INAV, the community will probably say that this is the horizon drift right now we have a pretty good chance of not to have a problem with the horizon drift anymore because the julio decided to port the artificial horizon from the ardu pilot and uh, looks like apparently it's working pretty amazing so, uh, if everything will go great, then INAV6 will hopefully solve the, this teeny tiny problem of the horizon dream. I know that currently there are still a couple things not working 100% up to the expectations, because, for example, if you try to do the flippity floppy with the craft that doesn't have the GPS, uh, so that means that the uh, centrifugal compensation thanks to the GPS is not working, then the horizon drift is even worse <laughs> than currently. Uh, but if you ask me, even if this will not be fixed, I will be willing and will be advising of actually merging this thing. Because the artificial horizon is usable, really makes, makes use uh, if you do have the GPS. And because if you do have the GPS, then there is a pretty good chance you want to go, you want to use loiter, you want to use position hold, you want to use return to home waypoints, etc., etc. And those are the flight modes when the uh, artificial horizon makes most sense. If you do not have the GPS installed, then most probably you are into the acrophilibly floppy, and then the artificial horizon really like meh because there is almost nothing that you can use the artificial horizon for. Even assuming that uh, those problems will not be resolved, I'm in favor of merging as it is, uh, because that's why. To sum things up, INAV6 most probably first quarter of the 2023, and with the artificial horizon drift fixed, if you have the GPS, maybe even without it. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Now, here's the next video you should watch. In the meantime, I'm Paweł Spechalski. Thank you very much for watching. And like always, happy flying! You see what I did over there? Now I have a video recorded.